Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about classification of solids. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Classification of solids. Based on the energy band theory, the width of the forbidden energy gap materials are broadly classified as conductors, insulators and semiconductors. So insulators means the insulators are substances that do not allow electric current to pass through them. So example we can take like rubber, glass, wood, these materials it act as insulators because it won't allow the electric current to pass through them. So in terms of energy band, this insulators are substances in which the forbidden gap is very large. So the valence and the conduction bands are widely separated. So in this figure you can see that in the insulator, this is your valence band and conduction band. So conduction band will be empty and valence band will be fully filled and the forbidden energy gap e.g. It is having that width is very large. So the valence and the conduction band that separation is shown over here. Here you can see that the forbidden energy gap is equal to 6 electron volt. So therefore insulators that do not conduct electricity even with the application of a large electric field or by heating or at a, any uh, high temperatures. Next come to the category of conductors. Conductors are substances which allow electric current to pass through them. So uh, we have examples like copper, aluminium, salt solutions, all these are conductors because they allow the electric current to pass through them. So coming to the terms of energy bands, these conductors are substances in which there is no forbidden energy gap. So the forbidden energy gap is zero. So valence and the conduction band that will overlap. So you can see in this figure, this is your valence band, it is fully filled and your conduction band, it is partially filled. So what happens is it will overlap. So there is no forbidden energy gap. So for this reason, very large number of electrons are available for conduction even at an extremely low temperature. And conduction is possible even by a very weak electric field also. So next is semiconductors. So semiconductors are substances whose conductivity lies in between that of a conductor and an insulator. So examples are silicon, germanium, selenium, ga uh, gallium, arsenide, all these are semiconductors. So your energy gap that will be very narrow. So compared with your insulators and conductors, this uh, forbidden energy gap for semiconductor it is one electron volt. So the valence and the conduction bands are mod moderately separated. So you can see that the energy gap will be very less. For insulators it will be very large. It is in the range of six electron volt. Here it is in the range of one electron volt. So in semiconductors the valence band is partially filled and the conduction band is also partially filled. So the energy gap between the conduction band and the valence band is very narrow. And uh, uh, comparatively a uh, smaller electric field that is required to push the electrons from the valence band to the conduction band. So uh, the classification of solids in that we have conductors, insulators and semiconductors. So this is uh, the classify or the category of solids regarding the energy bands or comparison with the energy bands. So hope this is uh, clear for everyone. If you find this useful, please share it with others. Thank you.